We are going to talk about foreclosure today. When you own your own home, this word is nothing that you like to think about or even meditate on. However, many of us are facing it. Your circumstances have changed, your income has changed, and yet still you want to keep your own home. It is okay. If you're in a bad space right now, it is not a reflection on you. Many persons are facing it, but you have the advantage right now of gaining the understanding of how to pull yourself out of this and move to the next level. That is why I am here. I am Nadine Neal, your Jamaican realtor, and I'm here to tell you that the foreclosure that you may be facing is not the end of your story. It is the beginning of a brand new chapter, but how you position yourself will determine how well you're able to maneuver through that chapter. All right, let's look on this. The bank has loaned you some money, you bought your house. During that period, you have invested in changing old fixtures, you have done possibly expansions, you have invested in the property. So not only have you spent the money the bank loaned you, you spent directly from your pocket. Why should the bank and the fees of the bank, believe me, I love banks, they are amazing, they come in handy for you and I, I'm not knocking them, but what I'm saying to you, why should they gain exclusively from your investment? No, I do not agree. And I'm sure at this moment you're thinking, I don't agree either. So we are on the same page. So what we are going to do is this. We are going to plan. So since we have moved past the stage where you're feeling bad, let's not, let's not, let's not linger there. We don't have the time. We may have two or three months stops in order to sell this house so you don't have to pay those fees. So we're gonna to move to the execution of the plan. This is the plan of action. You're gonna give me a call, 876-460-8804. Why? Let me come and sit with you, consult. Let me see where you are and how we can go to the next step. Because the equity that you have in your house should belong exclusively to you. Yes, I said it. The equity that you have put into that property should belong to you. Why should the bank alone benefit? Because when they are finished with those fees, you're going to feel it. So what we're going to do again, sit down and talk about it because you deserve to have your equity being yours. The reality at the end of the day, again, let me point out, the bank is merciful, but they are not that merciful. They are ready to sell, they are ready to cut their loss. What about you? I know you're thinking, if I sell, what happens? Guess what happens? You pay off the mortgage. We are on a credit rating system in Jamaica now. Once you pay off that mortgage, you're able to technically keep a good credit. And once that is done, if your situation changes tomorrow, you're able to go back in, secure another mortgage, and get another house. I mean, come on, doesn't that other chapter look really good right now? So the decision is yours how you go about it. Do not let this foreclosure take away your good credit. Do not let it take away the opportunity for you to purchase another house shortly. Instead, move ahead. Jump ahead of this situation that you are in, planning wisely, calling me so we can make sure that your credit rating is safe, your equity stays with you, and you pay minimal fees, fees towards the bank fees, or matter of fact, why make minimal? Let us go him for none. We pay off the mortgage, cut our losses, move on to the next chapter, and I'll be there with you, walking with you, and then we'll just start a brand new chapter where we can say, voila, here I am, and I'm ready to face the world again. Call me, your Jamaican realtor, at your service.